Hello everyone, it's me, Fox Gala, and today I'll be doing a Dull Fox 1 vs 5 challenge in Pokemon Unite. I am in my Protogen form for this, so I do better. And if you're curious, here are the boost emblems and battle items that I'm using. I replaced Score Shield with Focus Band. It's because, well... I think Score Shield isn't that necessary and Focus Band is more useful because you recover health from it. So anyways, what I'm doing first is attacking wild Pokemon to level up and get stronger and to also get points to score a goal. Look, here's an enemy Pokemon, let's see if I can knock him out. Oh, here's his backup. Guess I don't want to knock him out, let's just go over and score a goal, shall we? So we're not going to fight these guys, instead we're going to go over to the goal and score. Yes, you already know that, so here we are, and we scored. So the reason why I repeated myself is because, well, uh, um, I'm doing the voiceover after I do the recording. So like, expect some stuff like that, and let's try and get this enemy Pokemon. And he's a bit too strong. But luckily, and he's not too strong, and he ran off. I'm sorry about saying he's too strong, he isn't, but he just ran off. So anyways, if it wasn't for that focus band, I would have probably gotten knocked out by him. So now I'm going back to the base to recover my health, and I had to hide in some grass. It's because, so the opposing team don't see me. And also, it's weird that people call this grass a bush when it's obviously not a bush, it's grass. So we are attacking more wild Pokemons, and here's an enemy Pokemon, and there's another one. Let's see if we can defeat them. Uh, they might be a bit too powerful, but let's try, shall we? They're supporters, so they can, like, easily heal each other. Uh, nope, I'm not going to fight them. So anyways, we're just going to start attacking more wild Pokemons. So now we're attacking this Zatu so we can get her points. And, oh, now we're a Delphox now. We are fully evolved. So now we're going up the top plane to see what's up there. And, oh, here's the enemy Cramorant. Let's just go past him to score a goal. It looks like the Cramorant really doesn't want us to score a goal. Let's go away from him. And let's go to the other goal zone to score a goal. Hopefully no enemy Pokemons will be able to stop us. Hooray, we were able to score and we have unlocked a new move, Fire Spin. So let's go up to these birds and show off the new Fire Spin move. And it looks like the enemy team has got the guy who helps you score goals better. And uh-oh, they destroyed the goal zone. So we're just going to attack this wild Pokemon. And then we're going to try and get rid of the wild I mean the opposing Pokemons. So here they are, and I'm dead. Let's cut to the scene where we get back. So now that I'm no longer knocked out, let's go to the bottom lane to see what's happening down there. And let's get this wild Pokemon first. So anyways, here's the enemy team Pokemon, uh, one of them, and let's see if we can get her. We're winning so far, which is good. And I guess the focus band is helping. And she's healing because she's a supporter. And let's try and get her again, shall we? And let's go, go and get her. And let's just score a goal instead. So anyways, now we're going to beat up Reggie Rock. We have to be careful it's because I heard that his rocky attacks do lots of damage. You know the one where he shoots like three rocks in a row? That takes down a lot of your health. The focus band will help 
Let's take him down as it's healing us. He's almost dead. Let's get him, shall we? And of course, we're really struggling. I'm not a pro player that you see at the World Championships or something. So, like, don't expect me to do good. It's not a surprise that we're struggling. So what we're doing now is that we're going to quickly go up to the top lane because there's somebody that's waiting for us that might help us there and that guy is Regilecki he helps you score the goals and he's another boss Pokemon and oh here's the enemy Venusaur and I'm dead so anyways let's go back up to try and get him again uh-oh, looks like the enemy Pokemon got him. So what we gotta do is defend the goal zone by beating him up. And I'm on low health. And let's launch these attacks. And I got the Venusaur and I got killed. Now that Delphox is back, let's defend the goal zone from the Cramorant, shall we? Oh, looks like I'm going to get my revenge on him since he was the one who got rid of me last time. Yes, we got revenge on Cramorant. So anyways, let's pick up these points and go back to the base. It's because the goal zone is still vulnerable for enemy Pokemon attacks. And here's another enemy Pokemon. No, that's two of them. So let's get this enemy Pokemon. We're like doing like like it healed up and and i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get it and i got it and here's another enemy pokemon and we're going to get him or maybe not let's just get this other one instead let's go back to the base so we don't get hit by his unite move and go over here and now we're just going to head over to the goal zone in order to score our goal it's because it's good to score lots of points, especially when there's like five Pokemons against one. It's because you want to keep up with their scoring. It's because five Pokemons are better than one unless the teammates are bad. But these guys are all bots. So they like have a code that they work on and, and they're not programmed to be bad. So anyways... It's now the final stretch and I'm not going after Rayquaza and you know why? It's because it seems that these bots don't go after him. They only go after me and like the other like the bosses that are not Rayquaza. This was likely an oversight it's because Rayquaza is the big goal of the game. But it seems that we can exploit this oversight or at least I assume it's an oversight. It's because we can, like, sneak in some more goals without having our time wasted by Rayquaza. Which is unnecessary because of this exploit. So anyways, what we're doing now is using advantage of the enemies don't go after Rayquaza. And the fact that points are doubled in the final stretch. To score as much points as possible by defeating as much wild Pokemons as possible. So anyways, we've got this one and we score and there's some up here and uh, we might be really struggling but we're trying to keep up there we go let's go down to see if there's any and oh looks like one spawn let's get him come on come on and we got him no we didn't there we go now we got him score again there we go there's another Pokemon. Let's get her, shall we? There we go. Score again. Luckily, none of the enemy team are interfering with me. They're busy scoring goals in my goal zone, it seems. So anyways, now we're going to go back to the base and spend the rest of the match defending the goal zone from the enemy team. There's only one goal zone left, which is not a surprise because the enemy team are scoring so much that they destroyed all of the goal zones and we got the cramorant again and it's the end of the match now i'd say my score is quite decent compared to the enemy team 
so anyways it's the end of the video and i hope you like it and i don't need to say anything else so bye everyone